So here are 22 things I wish I knew at 20. The first one is that stuff takes time. I have talked about this in my podcast, which is linked down below. If you wanna accomplish anything in life, whether it be your dream physique or getting married or having kids or building a home and doing this and doing that, stuff just takes time. Opportunities don't arise every single day. You have to be willing to take the opportunities when they do arise and you have to be ready for the opportunities when they arise, but stuff just takes time. If you wanna do anything, it takes years and years to build skills and get really good I've been making videos now for seven years almost, and I still have so much to improve. Stuff just takes time. Number two is that you are not as smart as you think you are, so go out and learn more. But everybody else is also not as smart as they think they are as well. So you can use that to your advantage and try to move up in the world with the movers and shakers because the people above you aren't more intelligent than you. That's what you realize is that everybody is basically the same. And what you have to do is just take that opportunity, understand that and push yourself forward and not hold yourself back by lim like those limiting beliefs that, oh, well, they're so much smarter than me because they're this and they're that. None of that's true. Just push forward. You could do it. You figure it out. Number three is to work out consistently. Looking back in my life, that's the thing that I failed on the most is a consistent weight training regimen. I wish if I could go back in time, I would have just constantly been working out. Doesn't doesn't have to be every day. Just make sure you're going two to three times a week. That's enough. That's enough to build a good physique, to build a decent amount of muscle. That's If I could go back in time, I would just tell myself, just go a couple times a week. You don't have to go crazy. Every time I always did it, I went way too hard and I would get burnt out and I would just stop going. Just go consistently as opposed to going really hard, don't go. Go really hard, don't go. Just go consistently. Don't let yourself skip two days without going to the gym. Just go move some metal around and then come home. It's not that bad. Number four is that if something is wrong with you, go to the doctor. If you don't feel right, if something hurts, something hurts here, whatever, go to the doctor. Just recently, I went to the doctor for my knee. Last week, I went to the doctor for my knee. I haven't had this off and on pain in my knee for like 10 years now. And it turns out I have bone spurs underneath my kneecap. Had I just gone 10 years ago, this would be a much less big of a deal than it is now. I'm about to get a, a surgery and everything. And these spurs have been there for so long and potentially could damage the soft tissue. Had I just gone when I first initially felt the injury, I could have saved myself a lot of time. Instead, I'm gonna have to go through a surgery now because I was, oh, well, I'll just get better. Just go to the doctor, get it checked out. Number five, you're about to meet your future wife, Scott. So don't mess this up. I know you're, you're 20, you're gonna run into her at a bar. Don't mess this up. <laughs> Number six is have kids young. I got married at 24. I had my first kid when I was 26 and uh, nine months. If I could go back in time, I wish I would have done all that younger. I love my family. It, it, the best thing I ever did was have kids, get married and have children. It, it truly is, brings you the most amount of joy, the most amount of heartache, but the most amount of joy. And there's just something about having children that it, it's just, it makes life so much more worth living. And so just have kids young. That's if I could go back in time, I wish I would have had them younger. That's what the only thing I would change. I wish I, I want to have more kids and I wish I had them younger. Number seven is remember that in your twenties, your whole twenties should be spent learning, just getting really good at stuff, finding your passion and following that and getting really good at it because your thirties is when you'll spend the time actually doing the thing. And then your forties is when you spend time reaping the reward of what you did in your thirties. So just make sure that in your twenties, understand that you're not going to do the things that you want to do. Just get really good at those things. And then in your thirties, the opportunities will begin to present themselves slowly and casually as people learn that you can do this and as you put yourself out there, just get really good at something in your 20s and especially something that you're really passionate about. On that line, number eight is learn by doing. Don't learn by reading or theorizing or talking. Go do the thing. If you wanna run, go run. If you wanna get good at lifting, go lift. Figure out what works for you. If you wanna get good at filming, go film. Make a bad video, make a good video. Just learn how to do things. And the great thing now is that all this stuff, everything's gotten so cheap. There's no there's no real barrier to entry in anything anymore. So just go do the thing. If you wanna make music, just go, just go start beating drums. It doesn't matter. You'll figure it out along the way. The best way to learn is by doing. The same line of thought, number nine, is to stay focused on one thing, not one one passion, your passion could be filmmaking, but within the filmmaking, focus on one thing that you're filmmaking. If it's just making movies, just make movies, but stay focused on one thing. In my life, I got really into filmmaking. So then initially I started YouTube with a tech channel and that's turned into now this channel, which I, I don't post my tech channel anymore. It's almost 16,000 subscribers. I don't post on anymore. And then I, I changed to this. And then just last year I started doing weddings. And so then my time was just always split between so many different things. My biggest regret, my biggest mistake is just not focusing in on one thing. And had I just focused in on one thing, who knows where I would be by now. 
It's okay though, because in my 30s, I'm going to focus on one thing and I know what that thing is. And I'm just going to do that to the best of my abilities. And I believe that it will work out. And if not, at least I try. Number 10 is to go to church. Number 11 is film more stuff. I look back at my 20s and my late teens, early 20s. You don't really have any videos from those times. I don't really know what I did. I remember some of the things that I did but having videos and pictures of stuff makes you remember stuff a lot easier. And I, I just don't have a big six years of my life. I just didn't really film or take very many photos of anything. I wish I just would have filmed more stuff. My friends and I just being dumb and being goofy. I wish I would have filmed more of that stuff just to have because I don't have any of that anymore. And that's one of my biggest regrets from back then is just not filming stuff. Number 12 is to be more critical of yourself. You might think you could do all the things in the world, but just understand that you need to constantly be examining your life and examining the direction that you're going because every day you sort of make these decisions that you're not thinking about and they do affect your life. So taking a step back every couple weeks, every month, every two months, just to look at what you're doing in your life and making sure that you're actually doing the things that you want to be doing and you're headed in the direction that you want to be headed. A good example for me is that when I was in college, all I focused on was being really good at golf, but I couldn't, I wasn't thinking about what happens after I graduate. What am I going to do after I graduate? I was so focused on being really good at golf. I was really good at golf. I had all the records and whatnot. And then I graduated college and none of that stuff matters. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about any of that stuff. Looking back, if I just would have re-examined my life, I could have spent more of my free time developing a skill like video and using that to make money as opposed to just getting a job that, you know, I'm not super passionate about. So that that's what, that's what you have to do is just make sure you're constantly examining your life. 13 along that same lines is to read more books or listen to more books. I'm a slow reader and I try to read as much as I possibly can, but I am slow at it. So listening to books is just such a great way to do it. Just buy the book, spend the money. There's so much knowledge out there that is to just be taken for free or for just a very cheap price. You go to a library, it's free. Where you pay for it, it's 10, 15 bucks. You can get this, all this knowledge that these people have, lifetimes worth of knowledge, consolidated into three, four, 500 pages. And if you read 10 pages a day, it'll take you a month to read a book like that. And you could learn more in one month than you could have possibly in two years of just watching YouTube or not doing anything. So just go out and read more, learn more. There's so many ideas out there and so many good ideas out there and you just need to go out and learn. Number 14 is to stretch. I talked about weightlifting. Making stretching a part of your day is really important. I can't touch my toes. I'm pathetic. I literally, I can barely even touch my knees. I'm so tight. Just go stretch a little bit. It feels good. It'll make you feel good. It help with your longevity and performing sports, performing any type of aerobic activity or anaerobic activity, like even just chasing my kids. It, I don't feel it yet, but I know that if I was 50 and I couldn't touch my toes now still this tight, it would actually start to have some long-term effects, which is why I'm changing it now. Because C12, I am just being more critical myself and trying to do the things better that I know I can be doing better. So just stretch more, touch your toes, darn it, Scott. Like just all you have to do is stretch just every once in a while and you can touch your toes now. Number 16 is to be honest or try to never lie. I, we've all done it, we've all lied. I was much a much larger fibber when I was in my early 20s, late teens. Just don't lie. It's good to just not lie, just tell the truth. Nothing good comes from a lie. You might occasionally get away with a lie here or there. Just tell the truth. Living a life of truth is a much better way to live and a much more fulfilling way to live than it is where you're constantly trying to get one over on this guy or get one over on this girl. Just be honest and don't lie. Number 17, whatever it is that you're forced to do, whether it's a job you don't love, just get really good at it and do it to the best of your ability. It's good to have that mindset with everything because that mindset will carry with you into the things that you're actually passionate about. If you go into your job, you give half the effort that you could give, when you go at home and you're working on the thing that you're super duper passionate about, you're gonna give half the amount of effort. So just go all in on everything that you do. If you're at work for eight hours a day, be the best employee that they have, you might as well. It, does, it All it takes is effort. And so all you have to do is just give more effort than everybody else. And most people are only giving 50% effort at their jobs anyways. So just get good at the things that you're doing because it carries over in so many aspects of life. On that note, number 18, work harder. You always have more free time than you think. You could always play on your phone a little bit less. You can always watch a little bit less TV. Just work harder, do things, write down things you're passionate about and actually do the thing and just work harder. Number 19, understand that the number one thing that's taking away your goals from you is your phone, your computer, and TV. Entertainment is sucking your goals away from you. You could see them actually falling down the drain as you begin to watch more and spend more time on screens. Just understand that that's, that's a bad thing. You could spend time on screens and it not be all negative all the time, but you have to understand that the number one thing holding you back is the time you spend not doing the things you want to do. And most people are spending that time on a TV, on a phone, on a computer, 
playing video games, whatever, watching anything, scrolling TikTok. Number 20 is buying stuff, especially on a credit card, will not impress people. Nobody will look at you and go, it's really impressive that you bought all that money and you have what, a $6,000 credit card bill? That's very impressive. Nobody cares about the stuff that you have. Nobody cares at all. Nobody really even cares about you in that sense. Nobody is looking at you and going, you got a nice car, you must be doing well. And if they do, who cares? You don't want people who worry about money and things and status. Those people are no good for you. So just don't buy stuff on credit cards to impress people. It's stupid. Like I understand that there are some risks that you need to take. I put some money on a credit card one time to buy my first expensive camera and I'm glad I did that, but I didn't do it to impress people. In the past, I had done stuff like that to impress people, to buy the nice thing, to buy the nice this, to show them that I could, but who cares? I mean, we can all, anybody can get a credit card. Anybody can take out a loan. The impressive people are the ones who pay with cash. Number 21, start the thing, just do it. Don't be afraid to fail, learn by failure. I have was so hesitant to make my first YouTube channel. I thought, what are my friends gonna think? What are my family gonna think? And it, it cost me probably four or five years of growth that I could have had because I was just nervous about it. I had always wanted to start one when I was not a kid, but when I was in, in college, I really wanted to start one. And I just didn't because I was afraid of what people would think about me. And that's stupid, that held me back because how much better could I have been if I had another five years? That's almost twice the amount of experience that I have now. How much better would I have been now had I just done the things back then that I wanted to do? Don't be afraid of what people think about you. If people are gonna question what you do, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be in your life, but just understand that a lot of times people don't wanna see you succeed because they themselves aren't doing the things that you're doing. They're not sticking their necks out, so they're saying, oh, well, you're losing a lot of weight. Is it good for you to lose weight? Yeah, it's good for me to lose weight. I heard that a lot when I dropped a bunch of weight in college, so just go out, do the thing. Who cares what people think? As long as you're not doing anything negative and bad and destructive to you, just go out and do the thing. And finally, number 22 is laugh more, smile more, and just be a goof. Life. Everybody takes life so seriously. It's not that serious. Life is really hard. Life can be really tough sometimes, but you might as well enjoy it. We're here We're here for a limited amount of time. So just enjoy, just smile more, laugh more, chase your kids around, be a goof, roll around. Like just go outside, just have fun, enjoy the wonderful world that we've been given, that we've been gifted. So just enjoy life. Life is already hard enough. So just smile more, laugh more, and just do the thing you wanna do. If you have any things that you wish you knew when you were in your late teens, early 20s, let me know in the comment section down below for the people looking for an update on the 60 day body transformation. I think I wanna just go zero dark 30 for the next 30 days. So that way at the end, the transformation is so much grander, so much bigger, and hopefully a little bit more motivational for everybody. So I, I really I really liked making those videos and I really enjoyed them and the views they did, they were doing really well, but I just, I want the final video to be really good and to be the best that it could possibly be. So I want to just try and surprise you in 30 days. So I will be making a video every week and on the th 60th day of the challenge, you will see me and I will be done on a bunch of weight. I'm still doing very well. I'm still losing weight, still working out. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.